What's up guys, Ruxin34 back, and today we have the epic 20k part 2 package that I will be opening for you guys to show you what we're going to be opening in the 20k video. Before we do that, the giveaway for this video, giving away these four cards. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, and let me know what else I should add for the 20k video, or is this enough? I, but enough is never enough. So here we go. Let's... We're not going to do this right away, but we're going to open up Judgment of the Light real quick. We want to give another chance at Star Eater. We want to avoid pulling Coach Soldier Wolf Bark and Bujin Susanawo because that's what we pull every single time. We got the, the Toast. We got the Princess of Cherry Blossom. We always seem to get that one as well. But that's okay as long as it's not our ultimate rear. Also, want to remind you guys to check out my TCG Player and eBay affiliate links below to support the channel. And let's get into the second pack. The Ku Kuja Kajuka. There's a Colt Wing. The number one common in the set that we pull all the time. Let's see what we can do. Can we pull a Star Eater Ultimate Rare? Or even a Utopia Ray Victory Ultimate Rare? That would also be really good. Vertical Landing. These are from a booster box, so it's half the booster box. You're opening 12 packs. Last time I opened, the last two booster boxes I've had Susanoo Ultimate Rare, I think. Tour, bu Tour Bus and XYZ Agent. Yeah, this uh, this package, by the way, guys, it cost me about $5,500. What? So it's pretty crazy. There's some good stuff in there. I think you guys are going to be. Excited about it. I'm definitely excited about the 20k video. We're at just over 15,000 So about 5,000 to go then we will do that epic video with the LOB first edition blisters There it is the Madolce chicken latte chicken chicken lattes Number 39 C39 Utopia Ray Victory. This is a like a $9 super rare That's really good And this is a really nice ultimate rare obviously because if the super rare is $9 then the ultimate rare is definitely pretty solid Okay, so that's a good super rare pull. I'd take the ultimate rare version. I have pulled that ultimate rare version once, I think. But never the Star Eater ultimate rare. Shark Caesar. XZ's reversal. Five packs left, and then we'll get into the $5,500 package. Some pretty crazy stuff coming up. Let's see if we can pull something good out of Judgment of the Light. Intercept Tomato. Just a tomato with a football helmet on. That's all we can pull here. Cheap, cheap, cheap. We got a Archfiend Emperor. The first Lord of Horror. Three packs of Judgment of the Light. So far, just super rares. So can we get a secret or an ultimate? That would be nice. Nothing in that pack. Not even a Chicka Latte. So that's just sad. Sad to see. Wow. Can we get anything in this side of the booster box? Oh, maybe we got something. We got a Mermelio rare. And a number C104 Umbral Horror Masquerade. Talk about a long name. Super rare. And a Colt Wing, so that's not a bad pack. And then one more pack. Can we get something besides a Super? Maybe an Ultra, Secret, Ultimate, something like that. Here we go. Seraph Sage, Monkey, Bushingu Turtle, number 102. And a cockadoodle do. We seem to pull this one every time as well, but at least it's an ultra rare. This is actually decent value. It was like 450, I think, last time I saw it. Which is pretty good. So from our packs, we got Cockadoodle Do. We got number C104. Number C39 Utopia Victory. We got a Chicka Lattes, two Colt Wings, and a Talia Princess of Cherry Blossom. So not bad. But we should have an epic, hopefully secret and ult ultimate rare in the rest of those packs. So yeah, let's get these out of the way real quick. And now let's open up the package. This package has some pretty epic packs in it. And a sing one uh, single card as well. So pretty cool. Let's cut this open. Alright, we got to be careful not to destroy the setup while we do it. Because the pa this package is about as big as... About the max amount of room I can use. i got to do this little crazy creative you gotta go from the bottom because I don't want to share the address of the seller okay here we go 
We've got it open. What is inside? Take your guesses in the comments. Take one second. Type what you guys think is in here. What you want to be in here. And let's see if you're right. Okay. First we have a small box. This may... This may give you a hint. Okay, wait. Let's do it like that. And then is there something else in here? Yes. This should definitely give you a big hint. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Whoop. It should be everything. Okay. First of all, we have this box, which if you don't know already, you're about to see. We have Tournament Pack 4 Booster Packs. We have 25 Tournament Pack 4 Packs. These can contain the... Oh, wait. These are Tournament Pack 5. Oh, wait. Wait a second. Tournament Pack 4, 1. Okay, Summer 4 and Summer 5? I don't think we realized that this happened. Oh, I see what happened here. There are 5 4s and 25s. I don't think we actually knew that that was the case. So, that... Oh, wait. Now, maybe there's 5 5s. Okay, I'm confused here. Well, let's count these out. So, I didn't realize that there were a mix. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, Three fives. One, two, three, four. There's more fours. One, two, three, four, five. Fives. What in the world? And then one, two, three, four, five, fours. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen tournament pack fours. And we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight tournament pack fives. Okay, that's a little weird. Oh, there's more in here. Then there are also 10 tournament pack fives. There's 11 tournament pack fives. So we have a mixture of, there's one more in here. I can't get it out. A mixture of tournament pack five and tournament pack four. The way I think we, I originally thought it was all tournament pack four. So that is. Kind of a bummer, because Tournament Pack 5 is considered the worst tournament pack. But, that's okay. I mean, that wasn't. this was not really the main part of the deal. This was the main part of the deal. So here we go. I don't know what's on this label right here. Let's um, go like that, just to be safe. Let's open it up and show you guys what is in here. You guys can guess. Um, kind of the same theme, but definitely rarer than the packs you've seen, I think. A little bit rarer, at least. Here we go. Check out that gold. May bring back some memories from the 10K opening. Champion Pack 1. Yeah. Champion Pack 1. This is not a 100-pack box. It is 80 packs of Champion Pack 1. We have a Knight Assailant from Champion Pack 1 in there as well. So here we go. 80 packs from Champion Pack 1. And then the Night Assailant, which we got to get out of here. We got to save it from being not no sleeve. Be really careful. Really slow. Now we want to get it in the. Uh, we want to get it into a sleeve, for sure. It definitely has a print line back there. Night Assailant Champion Pack One. This is a pretty pricey super rare card. This set has Metamorphosis. It has. Book of Moon, it has Night Assailant, and I believe um, Sakuretsu Armor are the foils, or the super rares, and then you can also get Satellite Cannon Ultra Rare, which I also, I have in PSA 10, that's what I was trying to say, but that's actually the cheapest foil, which is pretty crazy, so this set is absolutely loaded, like the foils are super hard to pull, and then they're super expensive because of GOAT format, and these packs just don't come around very often, so this is what we're going to be opening in the 10k, we're going to be opening Champion Pack 1, we're going to open up the heavier packs. So, okay, we also have... I forgot he opened a couple of these for me. We're going to be opening up the heavier Champion Pack 1 packs as well as the LOB First Edition packs. So we're going to have a crazy opening. We also have... He opened a couple of them for me live, and he did pull a Solemn Judgment Champion Pack 1 version, which is actually the best rare in the set, so that's pretty crazy. Yeah, so the story with these is someone had these for sale. They had ended up with an entire box of Champion Pack 1 because someone came in and sold it to them. They, that used to have a store. 
And so they opened up like 10 or so and they kept like 10. So I ended up buying 80. They gave me, they opened up two for me. So really I got like 82 packs. So I paid a lot for these. These, most people would probably not have paid 5,500 for all these packs, but I really wanted to open these because there's just not very many of these left. And if I'm ever going to open them up, I'm going to have to pay a lot or they're just going to disappear. So that's kind of why I did that. We got 80 champion pack ones. And it turns out we have four and five tournament packs. So we have 14 of these and 11 of these. So 25 total there. And then we got the Night Assailant, which is pretty expensive. It was like 130 bucks. So it's a pretty nice card to get there. The centering's not looking good. Not promising for our pulls. It's not horrible, but it's a little bit off. Yeah, and by the way, the centering is the borders for all you guys that are wondering right now. I'm sure you are. Yeah, but that's it really for the 10K or the 20K I've used saying 10k. The 20k opening announcement. I'll be opening up the heavier champion pack ones. I will definitely be opening any heavy packs in these packs at some point. Um, I'm not sure when, but I'll definitely be opening up some of those. Let me know in the comments what else you guys would want to see in the 20k video. So right now we have five LOB first edition blisters. We have champion pack one packs. And then I was considering doing possibly retro pack one or retro pack two. Retro pack one might be too expensive now. It's like a thousand bucks for like three packs, which is insane. So if you guys can find any of that cheaper, point me that point me toward those packs. Retro Pack 2 is still a lot better. It's not quite as bad yet. So I would consider do that. Maybe get the Blue Eye Shining Dragon. So that was kind of my my idea for the third pack or set we could do. And then it'd be a pretty crazy opening. So we have Champion Pack 1, one of the rarest sets to find these days because they've all been opened and they were a Champion Pack, so they weren't really sold. And then LOB First Edition, we could pull the Blue Eyes White Dragon. And then Retro Pack, we could pull Shining Dragon. Or if we get number one, we could pull all kinds of crazy stuff. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what else you would want to see. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace. Oh! Yes. Okay, oh. Elemental Hero Dark Bright. Boom! Oh. Oh. Ha, 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 ha.